News at 10 starts now. Well, hi there, everyone. Thanks for joining us at 10. When Minnesota fans hear the words border battle, they usually think east towards Wisconsin. That's right. But tonight, thousands of fans are pouring the other way across the state's western border, getting ready for tomorrow's North Dakota football game at the Dome. Our Don Stevens joins us live. So, Don, what is the scene tonight? Oh, it's going to be a wild party out here tonight. We talked to so many students today that plan on going to the bars. There's also going to be a lot of house parties. They're doing all their pre-celebrations tonight, but we caught up with some older Bison fans who hope they can do their celebrating tomorrow. Hi, we're here to pick up tickets for tomorrow. You could call them die-hard Bison you. fans. We bleed green and gold. This is uh, it's the Bison. I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss this for, for anything. Rich, Adam, and Dan together again. Rich flew all the way from Houston. Got on the plane. Uh, Got here. This is uh, this is this is the old gang from from high school and college as well. Dan lives in Minnesota now. His little one didn't get the bison fever. The Gophers. <laughs> I'm optimistic. <laughs> I know the odds were going up again. There are more than 10,000 other optimists expected to travel southeast for the big game, and that means not all the action will be happening on the field. There's always a lot of parties around. University officer Eric Sandeman will be just one of 20 additional law enforcement on a party patrol team cracking down on violators. It allows the officers that are out there doing regular patrol the opportunity to not have to deal with parties. This area will be the main focus. Police say Dinkytown usually sees a lot of drunken activity and lots of calls for rowdy, out-of-control parties. The law is the law. If you're, if, you're, um, if you're violating that, you have to abide by the state codes. And just because you're in North Dakota doesn't give you an exception. Some students believe the presence just might work. I think it's probably a better bet because it is going to get more rowdy. But the rowdiness that's most important for Bison fans? Meeting the Gophers again after nearly 70 years of being on different turf. Playing a, a Big Ten uh, opponent is, uh, is, is the big time, and that's kind of part of the transition phase for NDSU moving into Division I was to, to play games like this. And, and Gopher fans told me today they desperately need tomorrow's win after coming off that Wisconsin loss. But Bison's fans say don't count them out with their flawless record. We will know tomorrow when thousands come to the dome here for that 2.30 kickoff. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Don Stevens, Fox 9 News.